Hi beauties and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be sharing with you my summer essentials. Um, so a bunch of products that I absolutely cannot live without during the summer season, which by the way is only in a couple weeks, which is absolutely crazy. I don't know where this year is going. Um, but I'm just going to go ahead and start off with my one and only kind of random hair product, but one that's really, really super important for the summertime. Um, and that is my Ultra Swim Chlorine Removal Shampoo. I have used this shampoo literally since I was a kid. Not this exact bottle, obviously, but the Ultra Swim brand has been around forever. And I've always used this. Now, a chlorine removal shampoo is very important really for anybody with hair that swims in a pool. Um, when you get that chlorine, the chemicals in your hair, it's gonna really dry it out, it's gonna suck your color out, um, just make it really dry and brittle, and you're not gonna have your color last as long as you normally would. Um, but it is especially, and I have to emphasize this to the utmost degree, important for those of us that have some blonde hair. And now that I have blonde highlights, I'm gonna have to be using this again this summer because if you're blonde, your hair is gonna suck that chlorine up and it is gonna turn like Wicked Witch of the West green. And when I was younger, it did happen to me. My hair was actually green and the Ultra Swim took it right out. Next few products are for skincare because obviously skincare is really important in the summertime. We're coming out of the winter season, um, so obviously a lot of us have dry skin. We need to slough it all off. We're gonna shed it off like a snake and then really moisturize that new baby skin underneath. And my favorite exfoliator for the summer is by NUX Body. It is their fondant body scrub and this is just a little tiny bottle of it. Um, and this is really awesome because it actually has coconut oil in it, so it's moisturizing along with having a bunch of natural exfoliants like walnut shells, orange peels, that kind of thing. Um, so it's kind of like gritty, you know, like it's pretty gritty, um, but just rub it all over your body, let it sit for a minute and then wash it off and your skin will feel baby smooth. Um, and I do really like the smell of it as well, so definitely recommend that. Then once you're out of the shower and all exfoliated, you wanna lock in that moisture. Um, and I absolutely love the Suave Smoothing Lotion with Cocoa Butter. Oh, this stuff is so good, super inexpensive. Um, I just buy it in the big pump bottle. And my mom actually recommended this to me because she's just like me, like we hate greasy lotion. Like, I do not wanna be laying on the beach oiled up like a piece of fried chicken. I cannot stand that. I have to have a really nice light lotion that's also gonna be super moisturizing because my legs are like ridiculously dry. Um, and this Suave, amazing you have to get it my final skincare product is from glam glow this is their thirsty mud hydrating treatment mask this particular one is amazing for summertime because it's the hydrating formula um, so maybe after you've been out all day in the sun which you should have spf on anyway but it can still really just dry your skin out um, this is a really good nighttime treatment so i'll just apply this before bed and it smells it's kind of an unusual smell. It almost reminds me of like a pumpkin-y cinnamon type smell, which is really delicious. I kind of want to eat it. Um, and a little bit goes a really long way. It's super creamy. I just absolutely love this one. And it doesn't get like all dry and flaky like a lot of the other masks. Next and most importantly, self tanners. I am like strictly a self tanner user. I do not use tanning beds. You guys, if you're using tanning beds, stop it right now because it will not be worth it later in life, I promise you. Um, so for my legs, I really love the Tarte Brazilians. This is their Maracuja self tanner and this stuff is amazing for legs because it's super moisturizing and it's not streaky it's gonna apply just like a lotion so just like if you were lotioning up your legs um, just really easy to apply it's a nice natural color now for my upper body my arms my chest everything like that I prefer the Saint Tropez bronzing mousse and oh, this stuff is so good it does come out like a mousse um, but you have to be really quick with your mitt rubbing it in because it will dry kind of quickly um, but literally it gives you the best color and I did just apply some you guys can probably tell uh, but just really amazing color the only thing is like I said you have to work really quickly um, and if you have not exfoliated beforehand it can get a little bit streaky which is why I don't use it on my legs and then for face because I cannot apply like just a regular self tanner on my face I will break out like super crazy it's bad so just strictly for face i use the saint tropez everyday face in medium dark 
and this is literally white in color. It's just like a moisturizer. I'll put it on, I'll let it dry, I'll put my makeup right over top. I've never had breakouts from it, so this stuff is really good. I highly recommend that. Love that for summer. So my next summer skincare essential is the most important and obvious. Sunscreen! You have to wear sunscreen. You do not want to get a crippling lobsterita burn like I did last summer because I thought I could get away um, with not wearing sunscreen for one hour. Impossible. So my favorite recently has been the Hawaiian Tropic Sheer Touch in Ultra Radiance, which is beautiful. The packaging sucked me in so much. Look, it's like glittery. Um, so anyways, this is SPF 30. Um, the thing I really like about this, first and foremost, is that it's oil-free, so it's not going to cause breakouts on your body. Um, number two, not greasy. It's the sheer touch, so it's just nice, light, um, just kind of like a moisturizer feeling. Then the thing I really love about it, though, is the ultra radiance aspect of it because it just makes my skin so glowy. Like, like there's no glitter in it, so you're not going to be like blinging on the beach or anything, but your skin is just going to be like reflective and dewy and radiant. It's just the most gorgeous look, especially when you have a really good tan. Um, so highly recommend that and you can get that at the drugstore, which is awesome. Okay, so now for my essential summer makeup. Um, first of all, primer, primer, primer. I never used to wear primer. I am like the worst offender when it comes to priming my face, but in the summertime, I really do have to prime because otherwise it's all just going to melt off and you're going to look a wreck. The primer that I use is the Laura Mercier Foundation Primer. It's really nice and light. It doesn't cause breakouts. Um, it has a very hydrating consistency. It's not silicone-y. It's not thick and creamy. It's just a very nice, light, watery moisturizer and your makeup stays put all day. So love the Laura Mercier Primer. And then as far as priming my eyes, always go with the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion. It's just my fave. This one is in the shade Sin and I like it because see how like champagne-y it is? It's super shimmery a great base and so love that liquid foundation summer essential would be the urban decay naked skin um, i have not been using this recently because i changed my foundation in the fall winter early spring time frame um, but i always use this in the summer i used this all last year um, it's a nice medium coverage but it feels extremely light on the face like it's a very thin liquid um, so I really like this. I'm in the color shade 3.0. Next summer essential is an amazing bronzer. This is like my all-time favorite. I don't know where it's been my entire life. Um, but this is the Kevin Aquan Bronzing Veil, and it is in the shade Tropical Days. Doesn't that just make you want to go to the beach? Um, and it's essentially a bronzer down here, and it kind of fades up into a shimmery highlight. And I think that the bronzing effect is very true. You know, it's not overly dark, it's not orangey, it's perfect, so you need it. Next summer essential is glitter, because it is like the only time of the year that I get to wear glitter. I just normally don't wear it in the winter time, it feels a little weird to me. And my favorite is the Lorac 3D Liquid Luster, and this is in the color Diamond. Makes so much glitter payoff, it's just a liquid. Um, you just drop a little bit right on top of your eyeshadow, dab it in, and it's like blam like your eye is a glitter fest it's amazing and like super iridescent it looks really pretty in the sun next summer essential mary Kay satin lips lip mask i've had this forever this tube has lasted a free lifetime anyways basically this is a lip exfoliator because you don't want to be rubbing your body exfoliator on your lips because it's too harsh um, so I absolutely love this stuff. Just put a little dollop on your finger, rub it all in, let it sit for a minute, wash it off. New smackers. Lips like a baby. So uh, my next summer essentials, bright, crazy, amazing lips because this is the season for that ish. Okay. So um, my first essential, and I mean, it really is essential, the Milani Lip Intense Liquid Color. I've talked about these before on here. I freaking love them. This is in the color Pink Rave, and I swatched it for you guys. Isn't it pretty? Um, but seriously, you need these in your life like yesterday. And then if you're not feeling super crazy, or maybe you want to play up your eyes like today, I played up my eyes with like an electric blue waterline and everything. So then you kind of pair the lips down, you know, take it down a notch, girls. You don't always gotta be turning it up. One time of the year that I can pull off a neutral nude lip is the summer because I'm tanner. 
in the winter time I just look like a dead zombie corpse um, so this is my essential nude lippy for the summer it is gosh darling um, which I believe you can get here in the US now which is super exciting except I can't get it here um, but my Canadian girlfriend sent this to me and oh it's amazing you have to have it then of course you've got to have rock and polish because people are going to be really looking at your nails and your toes and everything in the summertime because you know they're out so I have three that I'm gonna really be wearing a lot this summer I can already tell you the first one is by Lauren B Beauty in Beverly Hills and this is the nail polish in City of Angels this is a super super light ballerina pink um, and I was wearing this on my nails the last couple of weeks so maybe if you look back at my um, videos from like a week or two ago I'm probably wearing this and it makes you look even more tan because it's kind of like a whitish pink so you look super tan like your hand looks tanner I don't know if y'all really care about that but I do I mean I like it so this is just a really nice amazing cute girly color um, then the color that I'm wearing today which I'm really super into green right now and it all started with my dining room curtains which is kind of random but they're like an avocado color and it just got me started on this weird green obsession anyhow um, this is the brand Polish and Company which I had never tried before um, but I saw them on shop lately and I was like that's the color I want that's the exact green um, and it's called text or email it's like a matte not really like fluorescent but it's like a perfect lime green and I really like it it applied super easy this is just one coat which girlfriend you know I'm for that because I'm not trying to be painting my nails all day um, so I'll put uh, the shop lately link down below if you guys want to go check their polishes out but um next fave I need to shake this baby up I haven't used her since probably last summer um this is the ever popular Julie G bikini which is a gorgeous neon coral it is literally just the perfect neon you don't see many colors like this and it really does last a long time and then I just have a couple of summer fashion essentials not, not like I'm super fashionable or whatever but these are things that are essential to me this season um so the first huh, maxi dresses obviously and preferably any that have tribal print at the top and neon at the bottom this is a new one that I still have to show in a haul so pretend like you didn't see that um but ob friggin cessed with all neon maxi dresses they're just super easy to slip on great for like lazy people like me next summer essential is definitely crop tops this one is like a gorgeous little roughly minty crop top my favorite part about it is that it has a zipper i don't know why that's my favorite part i just think it's a really cute little touch this one i have shown in a haul before it's from shoreline boutique and i have a 10 percent off coupon for you guys that she gave me the other day and i'm gonna link it down below because i know you guys want some next summer fashion essential duh a bikini look how cute and you guys have seen this before. I actually showed this on and everything like in a spring fashion haul a while back. I'll tag that down below, I guess, as well. Not tag it, but link it, whatever. Look at the little bandeau top. I'm super into bandeau tops. That's another summer fashion essential. This one has a big hot pink bow, so it cannot be more perfect. And the cute little bottoms, which I've already shown you guys. But speaking of bottoms, another absolutely essential um, summer essential would be scrunch butt scrunch butt ladies right here do you see how it's sewn with a line in the back to make the butt nice and scrunchy I'm telling you you have to get a bikini with a scrunch butt for summertime I don't care if you have no butt bubble butt whatever you have it's gonna make your booty look amazing you do not want to get just like a regular big bottom because then you're gonna look like droopy drawers which nobody wants that so for my final summer essential, um, bandos right here, people, bando tops. And I ordered three of these like last week in neutral colors off of shop lately because I have a bunch of bandos already, but they're all like neon and they don't work with everything that I have. So I wanted to get some that I can kind of just wear like, you know, just like under neutral stuff. So I got nude, white, black. They're super soft and stretchy. And the reason that bandos are essential people is because like as like I said, like everything that I'm seeing out in the stores and everything that I've personally purchased is cropped, ruffly and like chiffony, like almost like the top I'm wearing. So a lot of times they're completely see-through. And you don't want to be 
nude under there and you definitely don't want to be just in your regular bra so get you a bandeau bra so that you've got your goodies covered up but you're still like comfortable and not flashing your lingerie to the world so those are all of my summer essentials i hope that you guys maybe got some ideas for products you can pick up for the upcoming summer season be sure to leave me a comment down below and let me know what your summer essential is i would be curious to know what kind of products you guys recommend to me um, i'm gonna go ahead and put all pertinent links down below and also the coupon code to shoreline boutique so be sure to check it out and also go and watch my last couple videos because the subscriber feed has been like really weird what else is new and people are saying that they're not getting my videos in their feed so go watch um and i will talk to you guys next time bye